When you want to work on some project, for example, let's say a project that you found on GitHub, if you have a look at the readme file, it tells you to first run the npm install command. And this is the typical usage. Because when you do run npm install, all the packages listed as dependencies in your package.json file get installed in the, in the local project folder. For example, let's say that our project depends on Lodash. So if I open command prompt in our project folder, which is npm, and run npm install, it is first going to create a node modules folder within our project folder. And if I go inside, it is going to create this Lodash folder. And this is where our package files are going to reside. And npm install is probably the most common command you're going to be looking at when installing your dependencies. Now, we also learned about semantic versioning in the last video. So let's see how the version might be specified in the package.json file. Now, the most common type you will come across is a version with a caret symbol at the beginning, this right here. And what this specifies is stick to the given major version number of four, but when you run npm install, retrieve the latest minor and patch versions. For example, we might have a version of 4.14.1 when or during our project development, but let's say a month or two later, we might have 4.15.1 or 4.16.1 and so on. So when we do run npm install, I need the latest minor and patch versions. And in fact, this is exactly what happened when I did run npm install. So although we specified 4.14.1, it installed 4.16.1. So four was left as it is, but the latest version for minor and patch version numbers were retrieved. And hence, we installed Lodash package at version 4.16.1. Now the second type is to specify the tilde instead of the caret. So when I specify the tilde symbol, it means to say, leave the major version and the minor version as it is, but retrieve the latest version of patch number when I run npm install command. So let's save our package.json file and run npm install again. So when I run npm install, if you have a look, 4.16.1 was our previous version installed, but this time it is going to be 4.14.2. That is because the tilt symbol is going to restrict upgrading the major and minor versions. So only the patch version was updated to the, list, to the latest one. And finally, we can just have the specific version number, in which case npm doesn't install a newer version, even though it exists. For example, let's say I specifically want 4.14.1 and not a higher version. So now let me save that and when I run npm install, instead of 4.16.1 or 4.14.2, it is going to install 4.14.1. So specific version. I don't need and I don't need a latest version. So that's how it's going to install it. And finally, let's say even if there is a change in the major version number, I want the latest one. So we're going to specify star. So when we specify star, it is going to retrieve the latest version of Lodash irrespective of the major, minor, or patch versions. So that is it about package versioning with NPM.